Now we're going to talk about how to help your hostess have a successful party. This is called hostess coaching or coaching your hostess to success. Some new consultants make the mistake of handing a guest her booking gift bag and not talking to her again until the day before her party to get directions. This is a sure way to ruin any rapport you might have previously built with your hostess and to end up with more cancellations than you'd like. So let's take a minute and talk about the most important steps to take in coaching your hostess to success. The first thing you want to do is make an immediate connection reminder. After you get home from your show and finish putting in orders, send a quick email message or text message to each guest who booked a party with you. You could say something like this. Thank you so much for planning your Labrai Pure and Natural event with me. It was so fun meeting you tonight. I have reserved date and time for you and your friends. If you notice a conflict with this date when you get home, please call me ASAP so we can find a date that works better for you before my schedule gets too full to fit you in. I just sent you a friend request on Facebook. As soon as you accept it, I'll be able to create a group for your party. So let me know when you do. Also, for the invites you want me to send in the mail, I will need the guest list by Sunday. Will you still be able to get it to me by then? I'm really looking forward to your show. We are going to have such a fantastic time. I cannot wait to see you again and meet your awesome friends. It's important to let your hostess know that you have reserved the date exclusively for her and you're excited to share Labrai products with her and her friends. When you set a show date and time with your hostess, you both agree to hold it on that day. It is best to book the show within the next two weeks to help minimize postponements. Most people know what they'll be doing in the next few weeks, which will make it easier for your hostess to get a commitment when they are inviting the guests. When considering a date with the hostess, take into account dates that may affect attendance, local sporting events, time of year, time of day, Dates really close to holidays. For example, many people are out of town on a Friday night before a three-day weekend. Or a Facebook party right after school or during dinner will have low attendance since those are such busy times for many women. But late evenings after kids are put to bed work very well for Facebook parties. You'll want to set up a time to chat with your hostess. You can help your hostess realize how many people she knows by going over the Who Do You Know page on the second page of the How to Be an Amazing Hostess. Most importantly, encourage your hostess to over-invite. It's unlikely that everyone can attend on the same day, but inviting 30 or more friends, she will be sure to reach her target of eight or more buying guests, which means she'll earn a free professional makeup brush set, which is a $40 value. If you have that brush set, go ahead and let her see how amazing it is. Remind your hostess of the date you need her guest list by. Encourage your hostess to invite in multiple ways so everyone is reached. Texting is a great option. Red Stamp is a great free app that you can use to make a cute and quick text invitation. Send this to your hostess and ask her to send it on to all of her friends in a group text and include you in the group. Calling is the best option to build attendance because her friends will hear the excitement in her voice. Encourage her to call her guests as soon as the show date is set. Ask her to tell them what she loves about Labrai and let them know about the instant facelift they will enjoy. Emailing. If you set up your show in Margo, it will automatically send three emails inviting your hostess guests. The first email will be sent as a save the date. The second email will be could be personalized with a message to bring a friend. And then the third email is the final reminder for her upcoming show. Your hostess will be pleasantly surprised when some guests show up because plans changed at the last minute. Um, with snail mail, you have a couple of options. To save time, you can have Margo mail in an invite for you. You can send the Labrai invitation postcards yourself once you get her guest list. If you choose the postcard method, I would recommend putting each postcard in a separate greeting card envelope to keep them from getting beat up in the postal system. You can keep up... <clears throat> You can pick up greeting card envelopes in many colors at Walmart or Amazon. You may choose to print the red step, 
Mm -hmm. You can pick up greeting card envelopes in many colors at Walmart or on Amazon. You may choose to print the red stamp invite you create and simply mail that in a cute envelope. You could even drop a little confetti in the envelope before sealing it, just for some extra fun and to make it more festive. Confetti is available at the dollar store. Here's a little tip. By mailing the invitations for your hostess, you are certain her guests are being invited. It would be unlikely the hostess would cancel after the invitations have been mailed out. Uh, next, you want to start a Facebook group. Facebook is a very popular option. You can create a Facebook party for your hostess by creating a group and naming yourself and the hostess ad as the admins of the group. You can either link it to Margo for inviting and easily scheduling posts, or you could go live in the group to share the products and benefits. Encourage your hostess to collect outside orders for people who are unable to attend. Make sure you have given her extra order forms and catalogs that she can share with everyone. Give her your website and the show ID number and explain how her guests can go online and order. Ask your hostess to keep the snacks simple and serve them after the presentation so she can relax and enjoy herself. Help your hostess create a wish list. This will help her stay excited about her show. Make sure you go over the hostess rewards with her so she understands what she can earn. Finally, make sure your hostess knows that she can contact you with any questions and tell her the best way to reach you. About five days after the show is booked, you'll want to make the second hostess coaching contact. Thank your hostess for sending her guest list to you and let her know that her show is now confirmed for the specific date and time. Next, you'll want to send her a quick text telling her that her invitations are in the mail. Go ahead and send an invitation to her as well, so she'll know that when she gets her invitation in the mail, that will be the same day her friends get theirs, and she'll know that's a good day to check in with her friends to make sure they got theirs. Sometime before the party, you'll want to talk with your hostess about the Labri opportunity. Here are some possible questions you could ask. Have you had a chance to look over the income opportunity information in your hostess packet? If she says yes, what then you can ask her what would most interest you about the Labri opportunity? What would you do with an extra five hundred to one thousand dollars a month? You could also tell her we really need Labri consultants in your area. Have you ever thought about making some extra money sharing Labri? Your Labri get-together could help launch your new business venture. Also ask, who do you know that might be looking for a way to make some extra money? If she seems a little interested, offer to share more information with her by setting up a time to review the opportunity information with her. If she's not ready to meet with you, encourage her to read over the What Do You Dream About brochure and ask her to give it some thought. Suggest she watches what you do at her show to see how fun and easy it is to be a consultant. Your third contact will be about three days before her gathering. Let your hostess know that she should begin making reminder calls. Find out how many confirmed guests she has coming so far. A great way to do this is to say, who are you excited about seeing at your party? Do you have a second to tell me a little bit about each friend who's coming? If she doesn't have a lot of guests confirmed, don't panic. It doesn't mean she can't have a successful show. Here are some things you can do to increase attendance. Encourage your hostess to call or text her friends that she most wants to be there. Remind her that personally inviting each of them makes all the difference. And have her tell her guests it just won't be any fun without them. Coach your hostess to suggest special people her guests could bring with them. A mom, sister, close friend, a neighbor. She could say, hey Susie, I was thinking about your mom. I think she'll really like this skincare, and I haven't seen her forever. Why don't you bring her along? It would be so fun to see both of you. Encourage her to keep reminding those who have not yet replied and keep inviting more people. It's never too late to invite someone. Your fourth and last contact 
will be at her show. Be sure to print out copies of the Hostess Rewards recap form and take them with you to every show. After the guests have gone, if it's not too late, review each section with your hostess. Let her know how much hostess credit she is qualified for and what she can do to get more. Be sure to mention your commission. You could say something like this. I want to show you how much money you would have earned if you were the Lebrai consultant tonight. Simply add up the cells of the show and times them by 0.2. Tell her you would be glad to wait to place the orders from her show until tomorrow in case she wants some time to think about signing up. If she chooses to sign up, you can put the orders on her website, helping her get off to a great start with her own customers. Sponsoring your hostess is a great way to not only get a new consultant on your team, but to have her qualified with $150 of sales as soon as she signs up.